Hello everyone, welcome back for another video. In today's video, we're going to talk about the coil shim from biometric system. So if you have a new CNN system, which have the biometrics, head, neck, tonti channel, there is a coil shim there at the end of the neck. So that's meant for the head, neck imaging, for the spine imaging. And it's in the topic of the fat suppression for better homogeneity, better fat suppression. And I did a little bit of testing. How does it really work? Is it really that's good as it says? And also in the end, I have a surprise for you because I did a little bit further test beyond that. I also have a shout out to my friend uh, Julia Boinet. Boinet, did I mention your name correctly? I hope so. Nonetheless, he's a very safety guy and he made these kind of ribbons, as you can see. So these are very cool because it's it's very highlighting the topic of safety, right? So you can have it on your shirt, your working shirt. It's magnetic safe. And uh, in the back, it's like this. It's uh, plastic. It's pretty awesome. And he's a good friend of mine, firstly. And secondly, he does this all for free. So you can buy these uh, ribbons from his homepage right here. And uh, there's no profit for him. All the money will be donated. So thumbs up and also thumbs up for highlighting the MRI safety topic, which is very extremely important. Let's go to the topic of coil shim. For those who are new, my name is Bakken again. I'm an MRI radiographer. In my channel, I'm covering things from basic to advanced MRI topics, tutorials, just like this one. If you haven't subscribed yet, considering doing so. So the coil shim has been out there for many years, but how does it really work? So I did a little bit of testing on a 3T system because I really want to, to make it difficult and see if it really works. And yeah, so let's go and I will show you. All right, like I mentioned in the beginning of the video, this is the head neck 20 channel with the coil shim. You see two different uh, coils here. It looks much, pretty much the similar, but uh, it's built a little bit different here. So this is one is the, from the old one from the uh, the era, the, the amount of fit and so on. And this new one here over here, they are more towards the Lumina, Sola, Vida Fit, Vida and so on. So this new biometrics, right? So the main difference between these two is, is this part. So you have something which calls the angulation. You can angulate it in two, three notch. So it makes it more easier for the patients to, to lie if they are very angulated in the neck. Another thing is that this is the cord shim right here so this part is very good it's very good for, for different purposes for better homogeneity, for better hand neck imaging for better spine imaging of course and does it really work that great uh, i did a little bit of testing here so i will show you some images we're gonna make it difficult we're not gonna use dixon dixon is easy right dixon works great for fat suppression in difficult areas we're gonna use standard remember we are 3t 3t should be uh, difficult so this is without the cold shape so we're using a T2 Tosman Echo with the deep learning DRB and we're using the spare technique. So there are different techniques out there. We have spare, fat sat and so on. So I also found an old paper here which is gold. It's very old but nonetheless it takes attack all the different fat suppression techniques to give you a great overview of the advantages and disadvantages. I will leave this in the link down below. Let's check this image, the same image without this, with the same parameters, but with the cold shim on. So this one is with the cold shim on. My impression was, okay, it's working. It's working better compared to without. So having it on seems to be working great. There are some areas right here, which is difficult and something maybe in the back here. But nonetheless, for the spine itself, it's, it's working. Here you can see there's inhomogeneity. It's not good, but here it's, it's better. So it's working. So with that cold shim, it's very good also for the diffusion imaging. You can see here with the diffusion, there's no high spots of the, the fat suppression, no ghosting because you managed to suppress the, the whole fat in the behind here, which is great. So you get a very good diffusion in the in spine and neck area, which is difficult. Okay, let's jump over here. So T2 to Spinecco DRB. Spare or fat sat for spine imaging? Does it really work? So people are saying to me that through the years, I heard that spare should be used before fat sat on difficult areas. If you don't have dicks and so on, especially for spine imaging, you have a larger field of view. There's inhomogeneity, so fat suppression doesn't really work. So I did a further testing here. I did a whole spine further testing where we did spare and fat sat, and we're going to check those results. 
As you can see here, we are still the same with the T2 tubus bonaco fat suppression. So there are two fat suppression techniques that you can see here. I want you to look at the images and tell me which one is the best. So the first impression is that both of them looks great. Both of them looks good. The suppression is good. The homogeneity is good. There is no, maybe something in behind here, but that doesn't matter. It's behind there. So let me reveal it for you. We have spare and we have fat set. On the left side, we have spare, and on the right side, we have fat set. As you can see, they are both good. So why are we not using Dixon? So for this test, I would just wanted to use spare and, and fat set. And another thing is spare and fat set is faster, and I com combine it with the DRB. With the Dixon, it's only with the DR. So that means that it's a gain and it's sharp. So with the spare and fat set, it's the full package of the deep learning. That's why I want to test this to see if it's working. And I have another question, which one do you prefer? Asking me, I prefer the fat set. Why so? Because at least it's good, it's the same good. But using the spare, the TR increases. When the TR increases, you also increase the scan time. So why not using fat set when you know it's working as properly as I show you here? So that's the main question. For me, I will use, for this case, fat set. Always good to, to test out things because you hear that, they, oh, you should use spare and you should not use this, you should not use that. But remember that test it out to see if it's really true on your system. Well, that's it, guys. I hope you find this video valuable. I also found a, a PAP Connect link to, to a small video of, of how this one's working, the call shape. So I will leave this in the link down in below. If you're interested, click on that to further learning to see what it is. And nonetheless, it's had we had the bare matrix for a few years now, but I did never did a test like this, and I knew it was working. But but it's always good to, to double check to see how it's working. But I could see that there is improvement to be made here, and we can make it even better. But the most important is the fast suppression is getting good suppression. Before we close up, I do have a question for you: Do you use the cold shim whenever you have it available? If so, let me know in the comment section down below. If you like this video, do not forget to push the like button, hit the subscribe, hit the notification bell, you get a ding ding whenever new videos of me are coming up. Until next time, take care and peace out.